I thought we should take a look at the pit displays to have a little look. So, Iota from Australia, how are we? Oh, pretty well, Sof. Um, very well indeed. More screens, uh, Mark 1 and Mark 2. How many, well, Mark 3 and Mark 4. How many different variants of the car did you come up with? Oh, over the last 18 months, probably about 30, I'd say. 30? Blimey. Uh, right, what are all these on here? Um, I'll fair you. Do I need to go to the lead engineer again? So there are all the different figures that are in relation to our funnel car. So drag coefficient, drag force, frontal area and the mass. AF equals 1,872 millimetres square. What's AF? That's the frontal area of the car. The frontal area of the car. So that's the whole kit and caboodle. Right. Exactly. I get you. And then you can see wheel, rear wing, axle, wheel cap, bearing, cross member, tether line, guide, and the front wing as well, all mapped out for everyone to see. Uh, yeah, uh, I'd just like to give you uh, this gift from Australia. Uh, yeah. It's a koala bear, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. That will stay with me for at least the next 20 seconds before I move on. I can't show too much favouritism. That's where you come from. Tumut, yes? It is a tumut. You try it. Tumut. I, tr I did my best on this one. And everybody has gathered to help you come to F1 in schools. You've had real community support. They have. The sense of community has been great. The support has been amazing as well. Brilliant. Uh, well done, guys. It's been great to see you here. Like this pit display. Very nice. Uh, from Australia, zero friction. Uh, right. Zero friction. Gone for like, the minimalist um, design and approach here. So, um, well, who came up with a concept for your pit display? Yeah, I did. It was um, inspired by the Red Bull pit wall. Uh, it's got a very um, environmental theme. So it's, it's made out of cardboard, it's all recyclable, and we spent a Sunday afternoon planting trees to offset the carbon for the entire project. So one of our you know, marketing, uh, marketing plans was to just go carbon neutral. It's and do you think you have been completely carbon neutral this week? Uh, yeah, we believe so. We planted a few more trees than we needed to, so it should, should be good. That's fantastic. It's the first time I've ever heard of a team wanting to be carbon neutral when they get to F1 in schools for the World Finals. Magnificent. Uh, you've got your fastest time, your average time, the target time as well. So you've actually beaten your target time. You've done better this year than you thought you might. Yeah, absolutely. Really happy with the car's performance. So hopefully today in the knockouts we can even improve on our current position. Brilliant. And this is what? The concept builder. What do we do with these? You combine a component from the cars, so you've got like a front airfoil, side pod, and a rear airfoil, and then it takes a second. Um, it's not working uh, flawlessly yet, but it'll combine the car together and output some data and an animation of the final car. What a really good idea. So you can kind of mix and match and maybe come up with two or three. Oh, look, Danny, new designs while you're here. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's not working amazingly yet, but we'll, we'll work on this if we uh, come back again. The yeah. thing is, though, you don't want that concept because it's a 1.08, yeah. and you've, you've done better than that on the track. Guys, love that pit display. Thank you, Dave. That's going in my pocket. Right, Antonte, how are you? Terrific. Terrific, he says, with a hesitant nervousness that makes me think you don't want to talk. So who wants to tell me, Tom, maybe, about your pit display? Well, we really wanted it to show our journey because we have had an interesting background, two teams competing against each other, and now we've formed a collaboration. Yes, you were enemies, now you're friends. Yes, we were rivals. And enemies. Yeah, enemies. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this shows the two sides of the equation. Yes, it does. Both teams through states and nationals and how we've now formed a better, stronger team for Worlds. It's much more fun now you're aligned with each other, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, I like it. Uh, right, what is um, this concept here? Where did you get the inspiration for having a nice revolving hologram of the car in the middle? This, this man here. Uh, well, the idea is... Ooh. See, Danny, you just walked into the pit display. <laughs> Can't do that. The idea is to kind of have a more interesting and involving uh, render, which allows people to kind of interact with the pit display rather than just having a still... Uh, and in motion uh, render. I like it. It's very eye-catching. It's a good pit display. We better move on before Danny completely and utterly wipes it out. Thank you, Antons. It's been lovely. Believe it or not, we're not anywhere near the end yet. We've got loads more teams to come and see, including Horizon from Brighton in Australia. Good wow, good morning. Take me through this. Okay, so we split our pit display into our engineering and marketing, but we've made sure that our 
car is the main centerpiece of our display. In front of us we have an acrylic and clear acrylic and white acrylic stand with these push buttons to show all the different components of the car. So, yeah. Wow. Um, and on the left, press a button to start. Yeah. Press a button. Oh, that just shows you. What's slow motion testing? Where did you do this? So we did slow motion testing at the Australian Institute of Fabrication facility. Um, uh, we looked at how the cross members sh shook, and so we rectified that in our final design. All oh, right. Is that normal that the rear wheels don't move uh, from the initial thrust? I believe that James Gurney would be. The Come on, James. Um, so one of the concepts that a lot of teams here try with the car is adjusting the centre of mass. And by doing this testing, you can see that the rear wheels start to rotate just before the start of the line. And that proves that by us adjusting our centre of mass in the car, we can effectively reduce the tipping moment. So it proves that um, there is an effect in doing that, and that's inherently speeding up our car. Which, you which it did. Um, because you had the fastest car yesterday. I think your concept was proven on the track, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Absolutely love it. It's the best feeling. It certainly is. Right. I found to look nozzle concept as well. If you like engineering, you would could do worse than watching this, and watching this again. Why am I? What? Oh, look. That's the car tipping up at the back. Yeah, exactly. So the nozzle concept was an idea that was. It's kind of like a LERS device, but it sits on the car and it moves with the car. So it was a LERS. It was it was the LERS concept that was developed for the new rules and regulations, essentially. Uh, but you're not running it. No, because it. it it didn't provide a good enough improvement for it to be worth pursuing because there would have been a lot of legal issues, so we would have had to do a lot of arguing, a lot of fine-tuning to make it work and compliant, and so there wasn't nearly a big enough improvement that we saw from this testing. So, Life's too short, ladies and gentlemen, for arguing. It really is. Horizon, thank you very much indeed. I love that. <laughs>